this video I'm going to show you how to play the lick that you just heard. Now this is basically the guitar solo from a song called Rain of Fire by a band called The Leviathan. I should confess that this song was actually written by my mate Dan and I did the guitar solo over the top of this last bit but the rest of the track is totally his work and it's pretty awesome. If you want to check out the rest of this track and other songs like it, you can click on the link up here which will take you through to our Bandcamp profile where you can listen to the album or buy some of the songs. If you want to support what I do, you can buy them. They're not very expensive, but that's up to you. Right, let's get to it. We're going to start by doing a full tone bend on fret 19 high E. This is going to last for two beats, then we're going to do the bend again, re-pick the bent note twice, uh, like so. So we'll put that together. Then we're going to play the bent note and let it drop down to its original pitch. Then we're going to play 16 and then 17 on the high E. And then play 14 on the high E. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe. Right, let's get to it. Then we're into the first arpeggio section. We're going to hammer on between frets 13 and 14 on the high E string using the third and fourth fingers of our fretting hand. Then we're going to pull off down to fret 10, still on the high E string, with the first finger. Then it's 12B with your second finger, 11G with your first finger, 13D with your third finger, 14 on the A with your little finger. And obviously we're sweep picking that arpeggio from fret 12 on the B string with an upwards motion of your picking hand. Then you're going to return to fret 10 on the high E via all of the notes that you just played in that arpeggio, but in reverse, and you're going to be doing a downstroke of your pick. Then we've got this kind of weird little hammer on pull off section where we're going to hammer on from 10 to 13 with your third finger. Obviously, your first finger's playing 10 still. Then to um, 14 on the high E then pull off to 13 and then back to 10. Then you're going to pick fret 13 on the high E, uh, which doesn't really affect the rhythm at all. It just adds an extra accented note to just add some kind of rhythmical kind of interest. Then you, after the pick stroke, you're gonna hammer on to 14, pull off to 13, pull off to 10. Then you're going to do the arpeggio that you did before. And then you're going to hammer on to 13 to 14 and then pull off to 13. And that takes you to the end of the first bar. So if I play the first, sorry, not the first bar, the second bar. If I play all of that. And now into bar number three, which in a lot of ways is just a repeat of bar number two. So we're going to pull off from uh, 14 to 13 to 10. But you're not going to pick that fret 14. That's going to be part of a sort of hammer on pull off roll. And you'll see that when I put the two bars together. Then you're going to descend down the same arpeggio as before. And then you're just going to repeat the hammer on pull off thing that we did sort of in the middle of the last bar in exactly the same way as you did last time. And then descend the arpeggio and then ascend the arpeggio in the same way as the previous couple of times. And this time you're going to do a hammer on from 10 to 13 to 14, back to 13, back to 10. And then we'll just stop there. Let me just put the two bars together before we go on to the next one. Just occurs to me I've just got the bar numbers wrong there. Um, those previous two bars were actually bars three and four. Bars five and six are exactly the same as bars one and two. Then we've got a repeat of bar three.
bar number eight that you can see up here is almost the same as bar number three, the first bar of arpeggio, but it's up three frets. So we're gonna do our hammer on pull off to start with on frets 16 and 17 instead of on frets 13 and 14. Then we're gonna pull off down to fret 13 instead of to 10. And then our arpeggio is going to be frets 15 on the B, 14G, 16D, 17D. And then we're gonna work our way back up as we did before. Then we've got that weird little hammer on pull off thing. And then you work way down and then back up again. But the ending is slightly different here because after we've done our hammer on from 13 to 16 to 17 on the high E, we're gonna do a tap on fret 21. And then we're gonna pull off back to 17, back to 16, and then back to 13. So if I just put all that together. Now if I just put together bars seven and eight nice and slow, it'll sound like this. The very last part of this lick, I'm just gonna let you work out for yourself because it's very, very similar to the first couple of bars. Right, now let me play along with some slow scrolling tab. In the description here, there's a link to a PDF where you can see the transcription of this lick uh, and it's all a bit bigger and easy to follow as a result. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.